Ricky and Kerry, congratulations on the afterlife. I absolutely loved it. Oh, thank you. Brilliant. Does it frustrate you though when you know people see your name attached to something? They take lines out of um, context and they just find controversy for yeah, controversy's sake. It's always happened, but it's, it's not just me. It's it's uh, if you deal with sort of taboo subjects, which I do, um, then uh, someone somewhere is going to find something you say offensive. You know, um, but I've uh, I've embraced it and uh, and I push back. Um, and as long as I can justify everything I do, um, you, you try and make it bulletproof. Yeah. Um, so you've got. You, I assume as many people are going to hate this as love it for whatever reasons. M most people aren't aware or they don't care, uh, and it, a lot of it's clickbait as well because um, you know that that headline that's very common now. Mm -hmm. So and so said a thing, and people are furious. No, people aren't furious. Not point not one percent of people are furious. The rest of us don't care, and we wouldn't have known about it if you hadn't printed it. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, and there's two quotes on Twitter. People are furious, two quotes, two quotes on Twitter. <laughs> That's the yeah. news now, so exactly. tweet. I know, That's exactly, uh, when did that happen? <laughs> I know, so no, it doesn't, it, you, you assume it, it will happen, you ignore it, you push back. But that's what I loved about this um, series as well, because it was all about us taking responsibility. Like, there's mm. a great line in there that's like, we're not going to change the world, but we can change ourselves. You know, when we change ourselves, we can in turn change the world. Yeah. That's it. It's about being grown up. It's yeah. about owning your emotions. And back to, like, comedy, I, I, when people say, oh, that joke's offensive, I want to go, no, no, you've got to say you found it offensive. Mm, There's yeah. nothing offensive about the joke, because not everyone, it's subjective. You've got to own that emotion. And that's what it is. That's what being offended is. Yeah. It's having an emotion. That's what, someone says I'm offended, they're just saying, it's like they might as well say I've got a pain in my leg. I go, what do you want me to do about it? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, good. Fair enough. Thanks for telling me. Yeah. There's nothing I can do about it. No. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. Exactly. Or, or, or uh, you, what you mean is you never want to hear something you don't like again. But there are ways of avoiding hearing things you don't want to hear. Yeah, you I suppose. Just so. don't go into the places where those things are going to come up. Don't ever go You've out. You've got a choice. Yeah, you exactly. You've got a bit of a choice. That's exactly right. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. It's particularly in art and comedy, the only, the only valid form of censorship is your right not to listen. That's it. You've yeah. got it. Use but there are it. certain things that depress me, you know, and I think, well, I won't, I won't look at it then or reflect. That's exactly right. You can navigate I your know. way around, you yeah. know, if you're lucky. Yeah, you but, 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 but they're, they're to be ignored. People, hmm. people are offended by lots of things. Um, some people are offended by equality. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So what we do, we Case ignore in them. Point. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So as I said, this series just—I didn't expect the amount of themes that it raised to be raised. And one that I really liked was, you know, in this society where we're all about chasing success and chasing our dreams, sometimes we forget that the dream really is to be surrounded by people we love. Mm. So how have your ideas about dreams and success changed over the years? The only success that matters is happiness. That's it. It's the bottom line. And people go around the houses to get it. They think things like money will bring them happiness. I mean, it helps, you know, if you, if, 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 you know. Um, you gotta pay the uh, bills. Exactly, you've got, to, you've, got to, you've got to live, you've got, to, um, people think fame has sorted it out, but they, they just go, all you have to do is go straight to being happy. What makes you happy? Yeah. Um, a dog. Well, it's the relationships, isn't it? That's yeah. why Tony's in such despair, is because he thought what made him happy or defined happiness was his marriage, and then that's gone, and he has to reassess and then it's about relationships and connection and finding, like you say, yeah. it's about success is a subjective thing, you know, like it, it used to be defined by wealth or money or status, but is it, or I, is it I, defined I, by a happy marriage? Well, it, that's certainly that, but even that, you've got to try it. I don't think you could call something a success if you haven't tried well, it. Well, it's measured by the happiness of the person, you know, it's entirely, of course. like Tony said, I'm successful because I had a job, it paid the bills and I had a close companion and that, uh, that made me happy and successful. But he knew it. He knew every day with his wife was a day not wasted. As he said, I didn't worry about anything else. I wanted to get home, open a bottle of wine, let's party. And by party, I mean sit her on the couch with Lisa and the dog. He yeah. knew he had the perfect life. And so that's why he's angry, because it was taken away from him. He didn't do anything wrong. No one did anything wrong. And, and he's, uh, he's in the second stage of grief, and he's angry, and he's lashing out. But um, he's also sulking. He's also going, why should I start again? And I like it when she says, you know what you like when you don't get your own way. I, know. I love that. I, 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 yeah, I put that in because I did want, a, a, we, we are narcissistic and we do think, oh, why me? Well, why not? Because it happened, exactly, yeah. The universe 
isn't unfair. Mm. It's impartial. It's it's and it's you know, that's it. It, it. There's no will to it. Um, some things just happen. Some people have a bad day, and some things happen. And uh, uh, I suppose the big question in this is, if you had everything and then lost it all, is life worth living? With no spoilers, that's the question I ask and hopefully answer. I watched all six episodes in one day. Great. I absolutely loved it. And at the end of it, I went. I think I'm happy. I'm happy for it to end this way. And then I walked away and I went, no, I'm not happy for it to end. <laughs> Are you going to go in for a ser- uh, series I, two? I really want to now. Good. Um, I, always, I always do something that's, that's, you know, definitive and finite and, uh, you know, ends just in case I die <laughs> the next day. <laughs> um, but I, I, fell in love with the, I, I, fell in, I fell in love with the characters um, and uh, uh, I, I have started thinking about it and... Um, yeah, I, I, I'd love to do a second series. Well, we want to see more. Thank you so much for this. And thank you for getting this conversation started too. I think we all need this conversation internally. So oh, thank cheers. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I- you.